we just handmade an O2 amp. Uh, it's how every single one is made. Uh, we just did it really, really fast for you guys. All right, so can you walk us through the steps in case someone wanted to know, and you can, you know, just summarize and go through it, but people are gonna wanna know, like, how do you put these together? Yeah, so we start off with the smallest components first. We put the resistors in, the capacitors. Uh, if you saw in the video, uh, we missed some parts. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't check the parts uh, before they came here. Uh, we're missing some eight pin dip switches. Yeah, some dip switches gone. Yes, uh, so. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, you stay tuned for the end of the video. We're gonna be giving away one of these with yeah. something very special attached to it. Yeah, and we will solder everything fully. We'll finish the board. Uh, we just didn't, we couldn't do it on camera. Yeah, so, so we, had, we had another board and we wanted to show that one. So that, that yeah. one's there beside it, but. Yeah. You know, as far as being transparent, this is, you know, we're letting you guys know that that one is not functioning yet, but it will yes. be as soon as we get the other parts on, yeah. as soon as you it's, get the other parts on. Yeah, as soon as I go home, I'll put them in. Uh, so anyways, we, we put the, we normally put the dip switches in, we put some MOSFETs in, uh, and then we put the eight pin, uh, 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 the eight pin jacks in there, and then uh, put some audio jacks in there, some bigger capacitors, that kind of stuff, so. So what does this thing do? What is it doing? So it's an amplifier. Um, so it's not meant for speakers. Uh, it only puts out, I believe, you know, uh, I think 600 milliwatts of power at 32 ohms, uh, which is more than enough for almost any headphone. Um, and what it does is it takes basically the signal you're putting in, making it louder. It's 100% neutral, does not add bass, mids, treble, anything like that. It's just a straight up louder signal. And it, what the technical term would be is a wire with gain, which gain is this amplification, which is what you want uh, an amplifier to do. So it's not coloring the audio or anything like that? No. Just completely clean? Yeah. Um, no, as far I know, I know you've got your own product, but as far as other products in the market, are there any, is there anything else that's like really neutral like this that you know people's doing, people are doing research they can like look at? Yeah, uh, some fire products uh, do the same kind of thing. Now, where did the design for this board come from? Yeah, so I did not make the design. I don't want any credit for it. Uh, there's a guy called the uh, Northwest Audio Video Guy. If you go to Google, type in nwavguy.com, you'll get his uh, blog spot blog, and you'll get all of uh, the designs and, and how he made it and that kind of stuff. And if you just go to his website, it is just like a book of good information that you yeah. can scroll through. So I discovered it and I was like, whoa, this is like a lot of good stuff. I didn't yeah. know that he designed, I mean, I didn't know anything. I'm just reading everything, you know? Yeah, this guy's an audio genius. Uh, everything he says is 100% accurate and, and I'll believe him over any guy on the planet. So. so how did he get started? So uh, so what happened was uh, this guy is, is an audio engineer. Uh, he went on some forums and was uh, basically talking trash about other companies saying, hey, your designs are bad, your output and penis is bad, and other things like that. Uh, he's been banned in a lot of forums for saying that. Uh, so uh, I think somebody called him out and said, "Hey, well, it, you know, instead of you know trash talking these companies, why don't you make your own design?" Uh, and he did. Uh, Turned the audio world upside down. Uh, this amplifier has made a huge impact in the market. Um, it's made a lot of companies obsolete, unfortunately. But and there's no drivers either. I, I noticed when I plugged it into my computer, it just uses the you know. It's a USB class yeah. one driver. So yeah. you just plug it in and it works with everything in yeah. any operating system. Well, see, now you also have one that has a DAC um, and the amp combo yep. that comes together. That's the one I'll be, I'll be using. Yeah. Um, now, the DAC amp combo, did he also design the DAC that goes into that? Uh, the DAC was uh, created by a company called Yo-Yo Dine. Uh, they're up in Canada. Uh, uh, he had some input in design. Uh, unfortunately, uh, while the midst, uh, uh, new app guy, he isn't here anymore. I think his last comment was somewhere in, I think it was April or something like that, in 2012. Yeah. Like, um, he disappeared from the internet. We Nobody knows where he is. Uh, we've all, all of our industry affiliates tried contacting him. Everything we send to him gets read, but no replies. So uh, we don't know what's going on with him, but. Um, Dude, where are you? <laughs> like, nobody will find you here. Come hang out. <laughs> Play some games. Yep. You can solder in the basement. <laughs> Whatever you want to do. You know. Yeah. Uh, so Yoyodyne uh, up in Canada is a, is a Yoyodyne Consulting. Uh, he makes the boards. Uh, we buy them in bulk, that kind of stuff. Um, uh, other 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 people who sell O2 is JDS Labs. Uh, let's see what the hell I forgot. They buy the same thing, JDS Labs. Pretty yeah, much. JDS Labs. Very similar, very similar uh, stuff. Yeah, and some other people around the world. I know there's a guy in the UK and Sweden, that kind of stuff. The name escapes me right now, but uh, yeah. All right. So then the DAC. What's the purpose? of a DAC just by itself. Like what is what, what do you want the DAC to do ideally? The DAC, okay, so the DAC stands for digital analog converter for anyone who doesn't know. It takes the digital music on your hard drive and makes it into analog noises that humans can hear. Um, and all its job to do in life is just that, is make music or make ones and zeros into an analog noise. Um, and, and you don't want that DAC to affect the sound in any way, shape or form. Um, that's the beginning of your audio chain and anything you mess up in that is going to mess up the rest of the chain. So you want a very 100% neutral DAC and that's what the, the ODAC is. So you got a 100% neutral DAC 
uh, and then you got that going to a 100% neutral headphone amplifier, so yep. it's just like your headphones. Yes. That's where the sound can be colored. Yes. So you buy a set of headphones based upon the fact that, hey, I want you know, a ridiculous amount of bass and a little bit of treble, so you yeah. buy, buy headphones and that's the only thing that's gonna be coloring yeah. the audio. That's what you want, right? Yeah, you don't want, you, ideally you don't want anything to color the sound. Um, it, you want your headphones to make the sound. You don't want to listen, you want to listen to your headphones, not the amp or the DAC. You don't want to listen to that stuff. Unless so. you're getting a tube amp, then you obviously want to hear yeah. the, the amp. And I guess there's some people out there that want the yeah. tube amps and none help. I play with them all. I'll be making some videos with some tube amps versus some solid state amps. Uh, I would I would imagine that most people that are very serious about precise audio would definitely want solid state, and they would yeah. definitely or anybody that's also uh, recording or making music would probably yeah. want solid state as well. Definitely. But yep. I don't know if you want to like lay back and hear like a sea of warm distortion, maybe a tube amp's good. Yeah. So anyway, okay. Next up, uh, you guys also make headphones. Correct. Yeah. So we have this here. Um, and we have, I guess others like this. So tell us what you're doing with the headphones and tell us what this is. Cool, so we, we buy these headphones uh, straight from Fostex. Uh, the model number is the Fostex T50RP. These are orthodynamic, these aren't uh, a dynamic driver, which is uh, what most headphones are on the market, uh, which has a different sound signature than most dynamic drivers. Um, out of the box, you know they sound like crap. The pads yeah. are terrible, it's just, it's an okay headphone for could, $90. I could describe them as Tight and fast with almost tinny. Yeah, it's not that great. But uh, so this headphone, um, you take these apart, take the stock pads off, uh, you throw some magic inside there, and you'll see soon in the video. Uh, we'll put some clay and some foam and stuff in there, and they're totally different headphones. Um, as you yeah, it's, it's surprising what you can do. I mean, I guess with the orthodynamic drivers, you probably do have a, a bit more ability to play around than yeah. you do with like the standard dynamic drivers. Dynamic drivers, yeah. Um, and you can really just like flavor the audio by, would you add some foam? We had some foam, we had some clay, uh, we had some cotton, fiberglass, different materials, just weird combinations. It takes a long time to get a mod correct. All highly uh, flammable and all that. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then the one thing about headphones is that they need to be comfortable or else who's going to wear them. They could be the best sounding things in the world, uh, but if they're uncomfortable, you're not going to wear them. So. Yeah, I'll be making a bunch of videos on headphones. Um, I mean, I've recently been, I'm recovering from, uh, you know, headsets. Yeah. So I, I do still think there's a couple of headsets that sound pretty good out there, and I'm still kind of on a mission to find a headset that sounds as good as a, uh, you know, a decent pair of headphones. Mm -hmm. uh, there's some headsets that sounds better than headphones, but they're usually like cheap headphones. Uh, and after that, the mod, uh, each, each, all, all of our headphones get different pads. These ones are uh, leather, we've got velour, and we've got extra leather. Very soft. Extra leather? Uh, extra leather as best as I can describe it. So. All right, so you ready to put together a pair of these and see exactly what it's like? Yes. Well, I'm not going to be putting them together. Yeah. I don't do that. Roll, roll tape. She does. <laughs> since uh, you were here a couple months ago and uh, what's been going on yeah so uh you you're responsible for a lot of heartache we've had in the past few months uh, <laughs> uh i don't know if you guys can tell our room is now a shipping center uh yeah so we've actually uh grown enough to the point where we actually have our own shop now uh so we're working on it right now it's about 90 percent done uh we actually have somebody working right now uh creating some amps trying to get ready for uh the release of this video because i'm sure we'll get a few orders from this from this video um, and yeah, so we're, we're expanding. We have our own shop now. We're actually releasing a uh, our new website pretty soon. We have a new logo, totally different design. Uh, it's going to flow a lot easier, look a lot better. So we're really excited for that. So sweet. So now um, you mentioned some new products here, and I guess that's why you want to talk to the audience to get some ideas on on what direction you should really go in. Um, I mean, I can obviously give you my opinions as well, but I really want to hear from the audience too. So. Um, just, just give us your thoughts and uh, let us know what you want from the audience. 
Right, so we're, we're releasing a few more uh, O2 and ODAC variants, uh, uh, but what we're really trying to move away from, we're not trying to move away from the O2 ODAC, they're fantastic devices, but we just want to have our own products. Uh, there are some few flaws with the uh, objective line of products, and we're just trying to move, move on uh, with other products. So uh, we have a few uh, designs we're, we're trying to create. Um, so we're going to have multiple price points, $100, $200, $300. We're going to have a different range of products. Uh, we have a few feature sets that we know we're going to have, but uh, we would like some influence uh, and some guidance from you guys and what you would like to see um, from our from our company. So you name it. If you want uh, something crazy, just, just let us know. Uh, it, if a bunch of you guys want it, we'll definitely we'll definitely put it into the to the team and and we'll we'll definitely consider it. So. So now, are you specifically right now talking just about amp DACs, or are you also talking about you know headphones and that sort of thing? Do you want to anything. know about like so like anything audio, like whatever you guys at home want for uh, you know what, what's the what's the best thing you you would want in a DAC? Um, what, what's the best thing that you guys would want in a, in a set of headphones? Like, is that what you're looking for? Just anything. If if you want some crazy ridiculous thing, we'll see if we can do it. Uh, obviously, we can't do anything crazy. Like, we can't release a headphone that sounds like LCD twos for fifty bucks. Uh, yeah. But you know. Just <laughs> that would be nice. Get, can we please have an electrostatic headset for seventy dollars? Yeah. Not need an amp. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. We can't do anything like that, but you know, something reasonable. Uh, we we we'd like your input. You know what? I'm, I'm going to give you mine, like right here on the air. I really the the pads that you use on the version three uh, of your head headphones. Yep. I want those pads just for sale on your website. <laughs> <laughs> those are amazing. So if you guys uh, are looking at some different head headphones, the Version threes have the most comfortable pads like ever. Like they're ridiculous. Yeah, we we could do something like that. Yeah, we can do that. That that's uh, my only thing. I'm really liking the O2, so I'm using that one right now. O2 DAC, DAC amp. If I'm using it. It's got the logo on the top. That's like that makes it sound 20% better, and that's scientific. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> it, it's scientific and measurable for sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can already see people like, what? Are they actually serious? It's almost like a religion, you know, so you have to be very careful in, in the world of audio. People go crazy about yes. things. So so right now is actually your chance to go crazy, guys, in the comments and let us know exactly what you would want. Oh, by the way, the winner is going to be chosen from the comments. and There's going to be a link right here on the screen. You just click on that. It'll take you over to our forum. Put everything in there and we will pick a winner and you will get one of the O2 DAC amps with the awesome logo uh, it's, it's on the screen right now, so you guys are seeing it. Mm -hmm.